Hey guys, it's just a coincidence that I'm wearing my Oasis shirt for a talk about teenage counseling, but I am taking on new teenage clients and music does have a lot in common with what we do, but also I find that with adolescents you need a different approach. So if you're very strict and very stern, it doesn't tend to go very well. I have two really good examples of that. So one of my favorite clients of all time, when I first saw her, had a shirt that said, I kick doctors. And she wore it to the session. And the whole time I was like, are you going to kick me? Were you a soccer player? Like, should I, should I be on the lookout? Um, and she thought it was really funny. And so we were able to kind of bridge the gap, I guess. And the second time was when I worked at the mental institution, the state psychiatric ward in North Carolina, we had this one teenager who was very violent, just very, very aggressive. And she spent a lot of time in her room because of that. And every day I would say hi to her and she would call me the C word, um, you know, for shock value. I have a really high tolerance for profanity, kind of have a, like a tiny bit of a potty mouth myself. So that didn't bother me, but we went through a couple days of that. And then I said, I'm kind of getting bored with this routine. Like, I think you might have a better vocabulary than this. I feel like maybe, you know, you're selling yourself short. Can we mix it up just a little, you know, just cause it's getting um, pretty repetitive. And so the next day she gave me a litany of curse words. Like I was almost proud. It was amazingly bad, <laughs> but at least she listened to me. And then I asked her if she wanted to play rat slap, which I don't know if that's a game that I think other people call it different things. But for me, it's like you, you take these cards and you pull them over and then you slap it if it's a pair and, um, what she didn't know is that I'm a very good rat slap player. Like, I'm not really good at that much. I'm only good at psychologically related stuff, rat slap, Mario Kart in 64. Yeah, I'll destroy you. I'm so good at that game. And uh, finding sand dollars. I can always find sand dollars in the ocean. But those are my only talents. But once she knew that I could play and, like, give her a run for her money, which she was pretty good. She was really good at that game. Then we started talking. And then we started talking some more. And then we did a lot of great work together. And all it took was, you know, someone paying attention. So I am taking new adolescent clients. I'm not afraid of the angsty ones. I actually kind of like it. So I don't have any Yeezys, but I do have some Chucks and old school Adidas's. So I know I'm not as cool as I used to be, but I do I think that me and teenagers speak the same language, or at least a version of it. So I hope to meet you. Maybe we can give it a try. Okay.